Hey everybody, how's everybody doing? Uh, this is Marty here, Marty Hassan. Hey, uh, I'm going to make this video actually. Uh, this is my first video, so bear with me. I'm trying to get good at this uh, particular stuff. I got this a drum throne about uh, made by Tamla, and I got this about like say. A uh, month and a half, two months back, and I uh, haven't really gotten a chance to uh, to open it up. So I'm making this video today to show you guys what's in here and uh, what's the quality, what the parts, and how to assemble it. So we're gonna get to it. So first thing first, uh, as you can see on this box, it says on here that that's how you gotta open it. So we're gonna open it from here. Uh, but before you open it, you want to make sure you want to. You don't want to pull on this on this side. You just want to pull it. Use one of these. Now, the country I live in, Karachi, Pakistan, we tend to use one of these uh, kitchen knives. You know, and it's okay if you want to use that, but but you want to be really professional at it. Use one of these. So it's actually a box cutter. What you do is you just gotta pull this out about this much. You know, that's all you have to see. Sorry, you're really gonna use this part here. And you know, take your time with it. Don't be in a hurrying up or pushing or pulling. So we take the time. It says open here. That's what we're gonna do. Open from here. To the sides, okay, and here we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, so as you can see, this is the first time I'm opening this up, and let's see what we got. Wow, <coughs> what we got here? Yeah, so it looks uh. Looks pretty good, actually. It's got a first shade written on it, you know, which I think they are, they all of them are like that, a few of them. And uh, it's got the really cool bottom, actually, as you can see. And uh, I really wanted the, uh, the bike rider style one. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen that on on the side and on on the other videos that Tama actually do make uh, that kind of uh, style or that kind of shape. But uh, someone told me that some some drummer told me this that it's really not a good idea to uh, to to get those rider style chairs. It's, it's best to to sit on these, the round ones. Uh, my my drum teacher actually told me that. He was uh, John Gleason, his name was. That was back in, uh, gosh, I don't know. It's been quite some time back. Uh, I think it was like 1996, some 25 years ago, 24, 25 years ago. But anyway, so that's, that's what you got here. You got uh, first chair, red bottom, you know, looks okay to me. And uh, we got uh, we got. I believe it's the hardware in here, so we're gonna take that box cutter again. Be careful! Don't be in a hurry again. You don't want to get uh, get your fingers cut. Okay. Put this in back in closed position. <coughs> Alrighty. Oh, this is one of my favorite part actually. I I totally totally love this stuff. This is one of those the best so-called the tool for any drummer to have a good hardware 
uh, you know, you could have a good drum set, good snare, you know what I mean, good toms or whatever, what have you, but if you don't have a good hardware, you're not going to last. Trust me on that. So you got to have good hardware. Now look at this baby. I love it. You got the, you know, double brace thing going on here. And uh, look, at the, look at the shine on this thing, guys. Totally love it. Just look at it. Awesome. Awesome. Just what I expected. It's got the uh, low end in here, you know. Let me put this down so you guys can see. And uh, it's got a, <coughs> it's got this uh, the swivel thing, I believe that you call it. Yeah. So you can fix this how yeah low and high you want it. And uh, I really like the feet of it. Yeah. And then. Very, definitely got good construction going on. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Heavy. Pretty sturdy. Feels like pretty sturdy to me, you know. But, uh, but we'll figure out in, uh, when I assemble it and uh, when I play it. I'll try to make a video while I'm actually sitting on it and playing drums. Uh, I'll play some, some stuff from Megadeth some stuff from uh, Ozzy, stuff like that but for right now I'm just trying to get this off the tag off from this wing nut here and uh, I, I don't know what this number is for you anybody anybody uh, knows about this 1901 if anybody knows about that you know just leave me a comment I don't know what this is for Probably the part number, you know, they wanted to use or something. So, uh, again, yes. Uh, so I'm going to put this on here. I guess you can see, you can turn this and uh, go back and forth. Or you can actually tie it up and not have this movement at all. Uh, so you can have this round table thing going. Okay, or if you wanted to lock it in, all you gotta do there's a there's a wing nut. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's on this side here. Yeah. If you lock this up, <clears throat> now you won't have the turntable anymore, the turn seat, so called. All right. So all drummers, I guess, uh, we drummers. We do like our throne to be like a round table, like that, you know. So we, when we're doing the fills from, uh, you know, from rag toms to uh, our floor toms, it always actually helps us out. I don't know, some, some people do, some drummers do, some drummers don't. And uh, let's go look in the bottom here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay, uh, so you unlock this this wing nut, and you go down. So that pretty much, not like the other ones, I'm sure you guys have seen it, you have to have to turn the whole thing around to go back and forth, meaning go back to higher to lower. Well, with this one, all you gotta do, unlock this wing nut, and go up and lock it, you know? And you don't have to do anything after that. Once it's locked, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. Now bring this down. I guess this is brings more sturdiness to your to your uh, uh, to your kit. Or, or I'm sorry, to your drum throne. The one it's not going anywhere now. Yeah, you pretty much can. It's, it's, Excuse me for a minute. I think I bumped into uh, to this phone stand here. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much it's uh, sturdy now. Uh, we don't sit that high. Most rock drummers, we don't. We tend to sit kind of low, but not that low. I don't sit very low. I sit uh, medium low. 
uh, that way you know, I'll get to use my double kick, my hi-hat pedals in a pretty accurate time. So that's that's it from my uh, from this side or for this today's video rather. And uh, I guess you, know, you could uh, bring this down up here or bring down this way. I think that's what it does. Yeah, you see, I'm turning the rod and you're going back and forth. Actually. Or you can do it straight from here if you want. Yeah, that's pretty much what it does. So I'm going to play around with it and, uh, you know, just like any part of any, any instrument you get in the mail or you buy something, you first, you know, you, you open up, you kind of give it some time, mess around with it, then you figure out what's the best way to set it up for yourself. Now, that's what I was looking for, actually. I didn't see it before, but I found it now. It's got this, it's got this uh, instructional book in here. And uh, I'm sure it says about stuff, how to use it or how to uh, sample it. There's really, really nothing to sample on it. You know, it's got only two pieces. One that sit on top, one is in the bottom. And, you, know, you probably noticed it that we only had two parts that came in the box. You know, one the... Uh, the tripod on the bottom and the top part, which is the throne we're going to be sitting on. That's pretty much. Yep, there you go. It's uh, it's got an instruction on here. It's uh, it's got two, two different languages in here. Yeah, it's, it's just telling you the uh, construction, uh, the uh, showing you all the figures in it. How it works and and all that. Oh, look! It it comes with the uh, back backrest unit. Now we didn't we don't have that. I guess it does not come with the uh, the round one. It comes with the uh, bicycle part, meaning the bike style one, as you can see here. You see? It? Okay. So yeah, we don't have to worry about that. And. Uh, got a T-bolt. Yeah, this is not a hydraulic either. Now this one is a hydraulic one. The lever is showing here. I wish I had gotten that, but uh, well, you know, in this country, the the, uh, the country I live in, in Karachi, Pakistan, it's very hard to get the stuff over here. Uh, it's hard to pick the stuff, you know. You pretty much don't have any choice you know, when you walk in the store which only few of them in Karachi and you just order whatever you see uh, if, if you order them you know you gotta wait like about six seven months maybe a year to get their part over if not then you're just gonna have to get whatever they have it in the store so at that time that's that's what he had in his store when I when I called him and uh, what I got this from I got this uh, just for you guys, the one who lives in Karachi. I got this from a uh, guy named Amir. Uh, he got a music store. And the store's name is Beatles Center. At the Tariq Road. Beatles Center. Tariq Road. I'm sure you guys knows about him. And uh, But anyway, so that's, that's what we got. Uh, and uh, I really wanted to get the hydraulic one, hydraulics uh, one here. I'm sorry, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, you, you catch that. So yeah, so that's what I got. This one here, and it's got a threadle rod, height lock. Oh, there, yeah, that's what that is. It's a lock actually. The black piece we saw down here. It's a lock. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna adjust the our height, and uh, we can just go ahead and lock this baby in. You know, but you don't want to have this locked in 
of course when you don't have your height adjusted the way you want it so that's that's what I wanted to uh, show you guys so here it is first chair Tama unboxing first chair Tama drum throne video and my first ever actually so leave a comment and uh, I will try to put up some more videos maybe for uh, some drum practice parts and uh, double bass parts and how to uh, improve your strength around your kit or uh, how to develop more of uh, different styles into the rock music per se and uh, we'll get uh, we'll get to that some other day of course but not today I just wanted to do that so hopefully you guys like that and uh, if there anything anything else uh, you think you guys think I should do in a video to improve them uh, let me know this is my first video so I don't know how the whole video things goes around I'm not uh, very good with that as you can see so thanks a lot have a good day.